Hey everyone, good to have you tuning in again. Got more Age of Empires here, and there was a recent patch update. Uh, you might not see much in the way of changes, but this game might highlight a few of them. Uh, the Mongols, who I am playing against, I'm playing as the opposite, I'm playing against a Mongol player named Silent One. The Mongols receive a free Gur at the beginning of the game. That's their resource gathering. Uh, it's like a, a drop-off point for them. Just like how the mill is a drop-off point for food, the Gur for the Mongols is pretty much the drop-off point for all resources. So it's really helpful having that, um, that building to start with. So it's giving them a little bit of a boost. And I think that's a good idea. Mongols have been struggling a bit in the most recent patch. But, another change that's gone through is uh, rams are cheaper now. They're about only 250 gold or uh, wood now. And that's really good for knocking out outposts that people put in your uh, bases. So, like, Mongol players rushing you with towers. It's much more affordable to knock them down. Another thing is town centers can now only hold 15 villagers. So this main town center can only hold 15. And I believe the damage output from town centers was reduced a little bit. So town centers just aren't doing as much damage anymore. Although you can now target individual units with your town center. So when all those arrows start shooting out of my town center when enemies are attacking me, I can actually now decide which unit it can attack. Really helpful for when you don't want your arrows just uh, impacting the rams that are attacking you because arrows against rams isn't going to do a thing. So now we can target fire with our town center and other defensive structures so that's really good. Up against the Mongols we want to be really diligent about scouting and right there we get the information we need. A barracks located near an Ovu Actually, I, I was recent. I recently read that it's just called an ovo. Kind of like how you say oboe. So his ovo has a uh, barracks on it. So he's double producing spearmen, and he's definitely just going to send them across the map. And he's tower rushing me. He's got a villager in this tower, and he's just firing away. It's not that scary. I'll just pull back villagers once they get a little injured. We're still gathering berries pretty efficiently. And now I, I think I'll instead take them over to these sheep. And we got pretty fortunate with our uh, scouts going around the map. We actually found a good amount of berry, or, uh, sheep. So yeah, we're denied off of the berries, but we've got this big group of uh, sheep to keep safe. So all my injured villagers can just gather under the safety of the town center. Yeah, look at that. That's a lot of sheep. 12 sheep right there, and we're processing a few already. The map is Mongolian Heights. It's that new version of the Mongolian Heights that I really enjoy. So there's a lot of ways to cross this river. And yeah, now we're seeing the outpost. I'm thinking of using my villagers to just stab down his, but here come the uh, spearmen. I kind of anticipated that. I canceled my outpost. We're just gonna spend our wood on this archery range. It's important to get an archery range down when you're facing a tower rush like this, or. I mean, we can call it a rush. It's just kind of some light pressure from uh, towers. Yep, and we're going to get an archer out. And we need to identify areas that we can secure, which will provide us with lots of different resources. So at this point in the game, I've noticed, oh, my gold is right here. My wood is right here. It's interesting. He, he denied my food, stone, and some of my wood. Now my priority is securing this wood line and this gold, so we're going to put down outpost here. Unfortunately, the arrow fire from the, the tower is starting, so we're going to have to pull our villagers away. And unfortunately, I'm still rallying villagers kind of to the north end of this uh, wood line, so I suspect I might lose a villager or two. Yeah, just from rallying. Look at this. I think this villager is going to get yeah, caught out. Hopefully I noticed this. Yeah, and I've changed my rally point. Good. 
My own outpost is up. Perfect. We scared off his villager, although I'm going to use my scout and this archer to uh, chase down the villager. Yeah, this villager has to run home or she's going to die. I'm also sending another archer out. If all he's got are spearmen, then we'll harass him at his gold. This will kind of force him to go into horsemen. He's sending his spearmen forward. I don't think that's a very good idea. You can see my, my town center is getting free shots on them. So we're safely gathering. We're safely gathering wood. We're safely gathering gold. We're safely gathering food. Kind of limited food and obviously limited gold, but we're getting there. Duking it out with his Khan in the middle of the map, but we're attacking his villager over here with our scout and archer. Hopefully we can pick him off before, before they retreat. Opponent makes it to the feudal age. Hopefully we spot the uh, landmark while we're here. Oh, just need maybe like one more arrow. Nice, get a villager kill there. So that's two villagers. We got the villager that was retreating across the map and we got the one on gold. And my opponent went the silver tree. Often we see Mongol players go with the uh, deer stones as their first landmark. That one gives their units a lot of movement speed. But the silver tree is a market. It can produce traders and he's likely going to put it in this far corner here and then rally it to this distant neutral market and gain lots of resources. The, the traders that come out of the silver tree, they give the Mongol player gold, of course, like all other traders, but it also gives wood and food. So it gives you just a variety of resources. It's very strong. Speaking of strong, watch this camel archer put down these spearmen. I'm trying to move my villagers around the screen to prevent them from getting stabbed down. But I think I'm gonna lose this villager. Ah. They simultaneously die. Okay. So that's two villagers of mine that he's sniped. I've sniped two of his villagers. So we're kind of on even footing here. Trying to think about how I'm going to approach this. Other times when I've gone up against the Mongols and they go this uh, silver tree, I end up harassing the traders near the uh, the neutral market, but I don't really come up with a permanent solution for it. So I'd really like to wall this off and put maybe outposts near it. Basically, I want to make it very difficult for him to send traders this way. We're putting down a cheaper ram. We're going to use it to tear down his outposts. That'll deny him vision, and it'll just... Uh, uh, I mean, we can probably reuse the ram in the future. We might send it across the map to attack something. I'm trying to keep my units here in the corner because I want to know if his silver tree is going to end up down here. And also we can use these troops to maybe get a villager kill. It's possible. Sending a camel archer in to try and find out what he's up to. Archery range, stables, barracks. One, one, one. He's going to have a variety of units coming out. We're looking for we're looking for villagers to kill. Instead, we find the silver tree on its way to the corner, as we suspected. And now we spot his army. This is a good free preview. Horsemen, spearmen, and he's probably gonna start pumping archers as well. So it's looking like it'll be a pretty balanced army. Oh, okay, we're trying to harass his villagers. I think these units are just gonna get swallowed up by his horsemen. Yeah, here they come. With that in mind, and I'm 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 clicking on this silver tree and, and remembering. Oh, right, right, right. My priority is get this get this uh, uh, neutral market blocked off. So you can see I'm spending a lot of wood. I was probably going to use this wood to make my second town center, but I'm taking a moment to instead wall all this off and put an outpost here. So we're sending two villagers out, and we'll probably send my troops there to um, give it some protection. We knock down one of the outposts. Ram's gonna move on to another. We've had to spend so much wood on rams, on uh, military production, and on these walls and outposts that only now are we getting down our second town center. But it is our second town center. That is good. We will start to get an economic advantage from here. You can see incomes are pretty even. He's slightly ahead in food. I'm slightly ahead in wood. He's ahead in gold. 
or oh, I'm ahead in gold, and he's gained that passive income from his ovo. Uh, so he's still gathering stone. And he's spending it well. He's definitely double producing military. So we're sending out our troops. It's a little scary, but then I notice his uh, cavalry coming over this way. I didn't have any villagers here. I sent one out to try and mine to... Uh... Oh, is he just gonna... No, no, he's not gonna survive. I sent him out so that we could gather stone to maybe put emplacements on some of these outposts. But looks like that's not gonna be possible. And honestly, with the outposts destroyed over here, we can probably get back to gathering these berries and gathering this stone. Yep, looks like we're putting a closer mill. We'll probably put a, a mining camp down over there. His horsemen are gone, but they've found my battering ram. And now there's that variety I'm talking about. He's clearly got a mix of spearmen, horsemen, and archers. That's going to be a really hard composition to deal with. It is mostly horsemen, so we're probably going to overproduce on spearmen. And you can see we actually have our two barracks out. We're overgathering on wood. Would love to see me transition some folks over to berries. Okay, looking good. We're still rallying to wood. That's okay. And there's his army. He's got good vision because he's got his con and a scout in there. He's looking for targets. I'm going to bring my small army that I had protecting my villagers back. I think the villagers are pretty good. They should be able to finish this out. He's harassing my villagers on the wood line. We're going to retreat them into the town center. This one can still just hold 10. Fortunately, we've got another outpost over here. So he's taking a lot of arrow fire. It looks like we maybe get his scout. And now I'm going to kind of sandwich him between my two armies. Need this camel archer to be attacking the uh, the spearmen. And it's kind of a kind of a bad engagement here on my end. Now my spearmen are targeting down horsemen. That's what I like to see. But my archers are getting swamped. He's being really good about keeping his horsemen moving and distracting my spearmen. Fortunately, this wolf is helping me out. That's nice. But it's looking like I'm going to lose out here. I mean, we traded a decent amount. And look how uh, injured his army is. That's a lot of injured horsemen. So now I'm wondering, is he coming back in? I'll retreat villagers into my town center and hopefully get them back to work. We're starting to transition a little bit to farms. Pulled my villagers from stone. That was a good move. We've got enough to put arrow slits down here. Nice, we're even putting a gate down. And his army is just kind of looking for opportunities. I should, yep, retreat these villagers from berries. Good, we don't have anyone over here. We're still, we still have a very condensed, packed base. And that's good. If I were him, I'd maybe try and take out some buildings. I know the Mongols have uh, bonuses that they get when they, uh, they get bonus resources when they destroy enemy buildings. So I think it'd be nice if he attacked some of mine. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, take these out. That's bonus resources for you. Knowing that his army's out there, we're going to move out. Try to take more of the map. We'll put down a dock here. It's very cheap for us. We'll put an outpost here. Maybe wall this off. Should really put the arrow slits in placement here. And now we're noticing his... Uh, he's got a few horsemen over here. The bulk of his injured army is over here. Seeing that he has troops over here makes me think, oh, I could probably pick some units off. So we're going to move in. Yeah, it's pretty reasonably sized army, and we've got the right composition. If these spearmen keep engaging with his horsemen, yeah, it's over. The horsemen are gone, and now we're just picking off his units. Wish we had some horsemen here. They can actually uh, harass these retreating units. Although, yeah, we're getting up a stable now, so that's good. Should probably retreat. His injured army that was over here destroying my buildings is likely going to meet back up with his troops. And now we're seeing why we walled off the neutral market. His traders are having to walk past my dock. 
We're putting down the arrow slits emplacement here, and I'm gonna send this small troop to just patrol back and forth along this line. Here's his army. We're probably gonna back off. We've got a lot of spearmen. I've been really diligent about producing spearmen, and I think it's gonna pay off. We have another arrow slits emplacement on this outpost. We have villagers in there firing. If he wants to ignore my spearmen, go for it. Spearmen in mass can just stab down archers. And they're being backed up by all this arrow fire. So he's losing his archers. And yeah, his, his horsemen back here are dying out. And these units are finding his uh, traders. Although he's sending a good force out. Although it looks like he's just running them past my troops. That's not quite the right move. Oh, he's trying to destroy this uh, outpost. But if these units keep engaging with his, he's just going to lose everything. We're coming forward with a few troops. We want to see what he's up to. Over here, we're walling off, securing more of the map. And yeah, just a handful of my troops have wiped everything out. Should probably get some ships going, but oh well. Coming forward, we spot the start of the Step Redoubt, the uh, the Castle Age landmark that Mongol players always make. Well, mostly make. I've seen a few cool ties. But we're targeting down villagers that are building it. And he pulls villagers to stab down my spearmen, but we're already mobilizing. We're realizing this is a really opportune moment to attack. Whenever someone is aging up, it's a really good time to attack because they've spent their resources. He likely doesn't have much to produce units. Well, he's actually got a decent amount, but we're targeting down all these villagers. These are such good villager kills. And they have to stick around because he really wants to get that step redoubt up so that he can then produce um, knights. We're getting all these kills. Makes it to the castle age and then has to retreat the villagers. He's not even going to get to make use of the step redoubt. I'll probably have a few of my infantry come down here and produce a uh, another ram. We're likely going to go up to the castle age ourselves. We're nearly there. We just spent a ton of food, but we should get there because we've we've managed to do a good farm transition, and we're also hunting these deer over here. This is really boosting my economy, and yeah, we're going to go up to the culture wing. His. Buildings are in disarray. He's lost tons of villagers. He decides to call it there. It was a good match. I think we responded well to the silver tree and we killed a lot of his traders. That was very valuable pickups for us. And we were able to move about the map confidently when we saw his army. Anyway, hoping for more of those in the future. Catch you then.